Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I'd like to say, Ka Halal, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me. I also would like to say peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect, the hopeful elect, the Akim that's pushing his word in all sincerity and faith throughout the four corners of the earth. For the few sincere sisters who watch and believe, Shalom to you as well. Shalom, Shalom to all of the new fruit, the new believers coming into the faith. Uh, it's just back with another lesson. Um, and I just wanted to go into how the time is short, pretty much. Matter of fact, I'm going to start off with this just so I don't lose track of the thought that I had. I'm going to come back to Isaiah, the 55th chapter. In fact, I'm going to start here at Romans, the 13th chapter in the 11th verse. Because everybody, even people that may not necessarily believe in the Holy Bible, the scriptures, the prophecy, everyone can get a sense that we're in the end of days. We're in the, in the last days, so to speak. A lot of with these uh, theologians and so-called Christians, uh, we're called esoteric times, man, meaning the end times, you know, and that is true, man. And the, the way that we're able to tell through the spirit is through watching the prophecies and the signs that the Most High shows us. That's why it says when you read Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, it says measure the time diligently in itself, because by measuring the times that give us an, an inclination that the Lord, who the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, we know in the Hebrew tongue, he's close to returning to redeem his people, the nation of Israel, the elect of the nation of Israel, as he was prophesied to do such. So those that are waking up to this truth, and when I say those, I'm talking about you Israelites, which today through prophecy we know would consist of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here mostly in America, but spread throughout the four corners of the earth according to prophecy. So those that have heard this word, and if you agree, and, and if that agreement has uh, turned into belief, right now it's time to repent, man. It's time to forsake the ways of great Babylon and America and get closer to the Lord, man. Because hopefully uh, we're trying to receive mercy because we know that great Babylon, which is America, is prophesied for a great judgment here in the last days, man, because the sins of this place have reached unto the heaven. So there's about to be a, a great judgment. The wages of sin is death and nothing but sin just gets pushed in this culture, man. Sin on top of sin on top of sin, man. And here it is where we're at the end of June, but it's still so-called pride month where, like it says in Isaiah, the third chapter, they declared their sin as Sodom, they hide it not. So you got those within the alphabet agenda. They don't have any damn shame, man, in just promoting a high level of, of, of wickedness, man. And it's even being forced on children at this point, man. So the Lord is about to make big moves in judgment. So those uh, who the word has, has went out to, and we know at this point in time through the internet, through YouTube, through the brothers out there preaching on the highways and the byways in every major city, you know, this word is going out. So it ain't gonna be no excuse. So right now it's time to get this thing. You don't, it, we're not in the time to put it off. Thinking that you got, you know, six months or two years, five years, 10 years, you know, like, cause I know even when I was younger, you know, I always believed in, in you know, who the world ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ, the heavenly father, Yahweh. And his name is Yahweh Shah. You know, that's what I learned when I came to the truth, the true names. But I always had a belief, but I would always, you know, kind of think to myself, I'll get really serious about serving the Lord, you know, when I get old. But no, the Lord, he wants you to come to him, you know, uh, at, the, at, at your peak, man, you know. But before I ramble on too much, I'll just go right to the scriptures, Lord willing this to edify. I'm here in Romans 13. And 11, it says, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So that's the point being made, man. Right now, it is high time to awake out of sleep. Because before we, we uh, awoke to this truth, man, we were in a dead state of mind. Like when you read the prophet Ezekiel, Ezekiel, the, the 37th chapter, it talks about those dry bones. So through this word, we've been given the spirit of life. 
you know, the word quickens or make us, makes us alive, man. We know who we are right now, man. We know the will of the Lord. We know how to serve our power, you know? So for those that have received this word, it's time to wake up, man. Because you got a lot of people that are falsely uh, claiming to be woke when they're the exact opposite, man. Because they're not pushing righteousness. They're not pushing repentance. They're not pushing uh, the obedience of the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. They're pushing a culture of just do whatever the hell you want to do. Do whatever the hell is pleasing to your flesh, man. And that ultimately leads to sin, which leads to death, man. But right now, it's high time to awake out of sleep for our salvation. Because that's the only the, uh, the way that the elect is going to be delivered out of Great Babylon's destruction, man. We're going to have to be delivered by so-called divine intervention. By what the, the world uh, ignorantly, ignorantly calls UFOs, which we know are, are identical flying objects, man. When Yahweh Shah comes with his holy host of angels on the, on the chariots, man. Those are going to be the vessels and how the elect of the nation of Israel will be delivered out of the destruction, man. It says, for now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. So this thing is right around the corner, man. Now, the scriptures talk about when you read Matthew 24 and 36, I believe around somewhere around there. Our Lord, Yahweh Shai, if you had a red letter Bible, the words would be written in red to indicate that the Lord is speaking. He says, you know, no man knoweth the hour, not even him, the son, but only the father knoweth the time and the hour. I'm loosely paraphrasing that scripture. So we don't know the exact time that this whole deal is going to take place. But based on prophecy, we know that that time is getting closer and closer. So as the time gets closer, as, as things in the world as we know it just hit the fan more and more, like it talks about in Matthew 24, uh, wars and rumors of wars, the, the beginning of sorrows, the love of many waxing coal, the word, uh, the gospel being preached throughout the world. We're in those times, man. So it's time to wake up, man. It's time uh, to, to actual apply uh, action to your faith because faith without works is dead. That's just one level to believe, man. But your belief should act, activate you to, to move, man. It should compel you to move through the, through the terror of the Lord. We persuade men, man, to repent. Like it says when you read in, uh, I believe that's in like around 2 Corinthians 5, if I'm not mistaken. But back in Romans, the 13th chapter in the 12th verse, it says, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. So the works of darkness is the works of this world, man, which this world is under the control of the spiritual demon Satan which we know the physical counterpart to the spiritual demon Satan is the nation of Esau Edom which are the self-proclaimed white people today you know so this world is just totally blinded by the whole uh, they're blinded by they're under the the, 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 the the spell of Satan so to speak man you know which is just completely en en engulfed in darkness that's why it says when you read in Isaiah 60, uh, the, the, we're in gross darkness, man, in this world. And through Yahweh Shah, which Yahweh Shah, he's also the word, you know, which his men that came to preach his word, that also represents the light as well. Because Yahweh Shah, he told his disciples, you're the light of the world. But this world, they can't comprehend light because they love darkness, man. People love to just stay in that sinful state, man. And especially our own people, you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you, you, you Israelites, man. Our people don't want to uh, put away, you know, eating all of these uh, unclean foods, committing adultery, you know, just robbing, stealing, killing, you know, coveting. It's just black culture is just a very toxic culture of behavior. And it has to end, man. But that culture is embedded in darkness. That's the point being made. And right now we're calling our people, the elect of our people, to cast off those works of darkness and come into the light, man. Which is this truth, man. The, the obedience and service of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, man. Because there's great judgment coming to this world as we know it, man. And there's only going to be a few 
men, a few people, I ain't gonna just say men, because the, the 144,000, you know, that represents the, the men of the nation of Israel, but there's gonna be a great remnant, the one third, which consists or includes the women and children of our nation, man, who are gonna be saved. You know, because contrary to Papa belief, there are gonna be women and children that are gonna be saved as well, man. You know, but I'll get the next scripture. Just, I'm emphasizing the timing, man, because we have to move with a sense of urgency right now, man. Even myself, I'm convicted as I speak, because sometimes you'll get those lazy demons. You're not maybe doing as, as much uh, work and service as you need to be putting in as, as far as your videos, as far as your level of reading, praying, meditating, fasting, whatever the case may be, man. We all have to examine ourselves like the scripture says in uh, 2 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. But we have to just exhort one another daily as we see the day approaching. But uh, I'm going to go to the Apocrypha in uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, which I always say the Apocrypha, it is a part of the original 1611 King James Bible. So I'm going to read this here in Ecclesiasticus chapter 5, verse 7. It says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So like the scripture says, uh, I think it's in Peter. I can't really think where it is right now. When they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction gonna come. I'm loosely paraphrasing that scripture. So right now it's time to get it, man. It's time to get closer to the Lord, man. You know, while we have that, that window of grace, right now we're in a grace period, which grace, that's the time period allotted to get something right before there's a, a judgment or a consequence, man. Just like during the time of Noah, that grace period was the time while Noah was still building the ark before that rain hit the earth. But then once that rain started hitting the earth and, and Noah, and his household was secure and the Lord himself had to fasten the ark so that everybody outside of Noah and his household, a total of eight people, everyone got condemned, man. Everyone got, got put to death. They got, they got killed. And we're in the time of the second death, which the second death is going to be by fuel of fire, you know, because the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, the Heavenly Father, rather, Yahweh, he made a vow that he would no longer Lockheed. I got cars going by me. I'm on a little walk. But the Lord made a vow that he would no longer destroy the earth by water anymore, man. And that's where you get the symbol of the rainbow, which here it is in pride. When I got to bring it up again, they've taken the rainbow as a, a symbol of their wickedness, man. So that just shows, man, it's just a, a high level of judgment being prepared for this place. So if you know better, you do better. You don't want to be a part of that. You want to come under that hedge of protection while there's still time left. I'll read it again. Ecclesiasticus 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath, Salaki, it says, For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So you might think you're in a state of security, you know. You might have a comfortable situation, you know, but that's what it says. In your security, that's, that's when the destruction going to come, man, you know? Like the scripture says, uh, when you read in 2 Peter, the third chapter, the, 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 the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night, you know? So someone that's trying to do anything terrible like that, they're going to come when you're not expecting. So the Lord, he's going to come back when people are not expecting. You know, but I'm going to go to the, nut, the next scripture. Uh, it was some. Oh, yeah. Isaiah. That's what I wanted to get. Because a lot of people going to get caught off guard. And the scriptures talk about uh, judgment. is It must begin at the house of the most high. Meaning those that know that they're Israelites. Because you got a lot of wicked Israelites out there, man. Or I'm going to say rather wicked niggas that call themselves Israelites. You know, they know the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. 
You know, they know the certain laws. They know that what the hell they're supposed to do, but they're not doing it, man. So the Lord going to get them out the way early, man. You know, it's going to be a house cleaning. And Lord willing, you know, I'm, I'm not a part of that, you know. I, I, I'm going to give due diligence to make sure I make my call in the election sure. And exhorting the body, you know, while there's time as well. Because we, we're about the, the, the sealing of the election, you know. But uh, this is Isaiah 55. And um, Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. So right now it's time to seek the Lord, man. While we're still in a time of grace, the Lord, he might grant you repentance, man. To where you can come into this thing and be able to serve him. So that when the destruction come, you may be delivered, man. You know? Many are called, but few are chosen. Right now, the calling is going out, you know, to the, the, the body of believers, the elect. So... Ultimately, it's up to the most high who comes into this thing. But I myself personally, I don't want no blood to be on my hand, man, because, you know, that's just part of my service. You know, sounding the alarm, crying aloud, sparing not. Hoping that we can pull some of our people out of this fire, man, because the angels rejoice even over one, like the scripture says. So right now it's, it's time to get into this thing, man. Because I perceive through the spirit, it's a lot of more viewership. I'm noticing on my videos, I know other brothers on their pages, you know, people are tuning in, man. You know, so it ain't going to be no excuse. That's why Yahweh Shah said there's not going to be a cloak or an excuse for our people's sins, man. Because this word is gone out, man. This word has gone out. You can watch the videos 24-7, you know, as long as you got a phone. And then, too, the prophets is on the highways and the byways teaching week for week. Some uh, brothers go out there multiple times a week. So it's time to get in this thing. If you've been just sitting on the, on the sideline, I know Apostle Tahar, he calls them uh, window shopping. Because you got a lot of Israelites out there window shopping, trying to figure out what's this and what's that. Which I can respect that in some to some degree, because the scriptures does says uh, in Romans, the 14th chapter, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. And you're supposed to have the spirit of the Bereans. Like when you read Acts, the 17th chapter, meaning not taking our word for, you know, what we're saying, but going back and doing your own research, going back and studying the scriptures for yourself to see if what we're saying is, is truthful, you know. But that time of window shopping, you ain't going to have much time, much more time to do that, man. That's the point being made as well, man. It's time to get into this thing, man. Start figuring it out and start making decisions, man. But I'll get this and I'll, I'll end out the short lesson. Um, yeah, there you go. This is uh, in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. It says, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. So right now it's time to remember the creator man in the days of that youth while the evil days come not because like i said when i was young you know you think you're gonna live forever you'd be like man you know i believed in the most high all you know even when i was young but i was like you know i'll wait till i'm old to get real serious about serving the lord you know but as soon as you find out about this truth and you're fully persuaded in your mind that this this doctrine that this the, these prophecies are, are faithful and true it's time to take action. It's time to repent. It's time to put off the, 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 the ways of darkness that you learn within the constraints of this world, man, and start serving the Lord more and more. The fear of the Lord, that's the beginning of wisdom. But going back in Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, it says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So we don't want to get... Uh, to a point where uh, we're tempting the most high. We're waiting to the last second, try to, you know, hit a buzzer beater in the spirit because you don't know when the Lord will come back, man. The Lord is coming back when, you, when you're not going to least expect him to. So right now, it's time to get in this thing, man. You know, it's time to make a stance, man. You know, because the Lord, he's not dealing with anybody that's lukewarm. You know, he just whether you be cold or hot, you know. 
So a lot of those, a lot of uh, Israelites that's out there still window shopping, you know, camp hopping, not really fully coming into this thing, just information grabbing, so to speak, man. You better make a move before the most high make a move on you. So with all being said, uh, you know, I just want to say a few words concerning, you know, just having a state of a sense of urgency, man, with the timing we're in, because this thing, man, is getting close, man. So with all being said, Lord willing and certified, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, peace and blessings to the elect.